Hi everyone and welcome, it's Meg and today we're covering Minecraft 101, the absolute basics. So how to move around, destroy and place blocks in Minecraft. So going into Minecraft, I'm using Education Edition, click on play. Uh, I'm just going to go into a flat world uh, by clicking on create new and new. I want it to be creative mode, I'll explain why in a bit and I'm just going to click on play. Actually before we do that going to change to a flat world so this means a flat world means next no features nothing set it's just flat land so we'll be able to move around and destroy a few things so when you first open education edition you'll notice on the left there's a handy guide to all the controls so if you get stuck or lost there's something to remind you what to push right there now in minecraft minecraft is a first person game. That means the screen is showing you uh, as if you were looking out of the eyes of your avatar, your little person in the game world. So imagine that the arrow keys on your keyboard have migrated to the left hand side of the keyboard and now the W, A, S and D keys are your new arrow keys. So W is your up or forwards key, S is your back or backwards key or down arrow, a is your left arrow and D is your right arrow. Now you'll notice as I push those buttons to move around, uh, it's kind of like I'm walking but my the head of my character is not moving. That's because you need to control where you look with your character's head with your mouse. So I suggest having your left hand on the keyboard and your right hand on the mouse. And so if I'm just moved the mouse, I'm not touching the keyboard at all, just using the mouse here, you can see I can move the head of my character around to look around me. Now, if I start, there's sh some random sheep in this world. If I start pushing forward with W, as I move the mouse it, and change where I'm looking, I will move towards wherever I'm looking with the up arrow. So if you've never played a first person game before, it takes a little bit of getting used to, but once you're used to it, you'll do, start doing it without thinking. Now, going through the other controls on the left there, we have spacebar, which makes us jump up and down. In creative mode, so there are two basic modes to Minecraft, creative and survival. In creative mode, if you double tap the spacebar or press it, push it twice in quick succession, you can actually fly. And when you're flying high above the ground, spacebar will help you rise even further. And shift will make you lower within the sky. Now, if I wanted to get back to the ground very quickly, if I double tap spacebar again, I'll stop flying and just fall to the ground. Now, the other controls we see there, shift. If you hold down shift with your pinky finger while you're walking, it's like you're crouching and sneaking along very slowly and if I hold down control and move forward I'm running really fast. The other way you can run really fast is if you push W or forwards twice in quick succession just like with the space bar and the jumping. So they are the basic uh, controls. Now that you've sort of, um, I'll come up to inventory and code builder in a minute, but now that you've sort of mastered them. If you want to get rid of that hint on the left, push escape. We're going into settings, keyboard and mouse. And we're going to click on this one here, which says hide keyboard and mouse hints and escape and escape. So we can get rid of those hints now that we've sort of got the hang of it. The other really important thing that's key to Minecraft is placing and destroying blocks that you need to do with your mouse. So you'll notice my reticule or the little crosshairs in the very middle of my screen. If I uh, look at a block, you'll see it gets a little black square around the block that I'm looking at. If I'm to left click, that block that I'm looking at will now be destroyed. In creative mode, it will be destroyed instantly. So you just need to click and if I hold down, it'll keep destroying blocks. There is a limit, like a range limit to how far away you can destroy blocks. The other thing we want to do in Minecraft is build cool things. How do I build? Well, at the moment, 
If you look at the little boxes down the very bottom of my screen, that's my inventory or the blocks that I'm holding on me and I don't have any. So we need to get some blocks first. If I push E, E will open up the inventory. Now in creative mode, we have access to any block we want within the game. And this little search bar here helps me search the blocks by name. Now, initially you're probably not going to know any of the names and that's fine, but you can guess most of them are pretty self-explanatory. If I type in dirt, I can find a dirt block. I'm gonna click, left click and drag that down into my toolbar down the bottom there or my inventory bar. So I'm just going to get some dirt and maybe the other common one is cobblestone and I want the, the block. There we go. Now to get out of this menu, out of inventory, I can push, well I'm in the search bar at the moment, I can push E or escape to get back out. Now you'll notice I have two blocks and I'm actually holding the block, the selected block in my hand. To change between the selected blocks in your toolbar, you can use the numbers one, two, three, four, five, so on and so forth, or you can use the scroll button on your mouse, which is what I typically tend to do. Once you've got a block in your hand, if you'd like to place it to build, make sure you point the crosshairs where you want to build. Remember paying attention to that black outline and just clicking right click. So just like just like uh, left clicking and destroying, there's a limit to how far away you can place blocks. I also can't really place them in midair. You do need to place them on top of one another. So if I'm flying, I can't just place blocks in midair. I do need to focus on a block with a black outline. Now, if I do want to build something in midair, the trick is to build it up like so, and then destroy with a left click the ones underneath like that. So now I've got something in midair. So that's destroying and placing blocks, moving around and accessing your inventory. Hopefully that's enough to get you started. Give it a go. Now, if we go back to the menu screen, click on create new, I'll explain the difference between survival and creative. So if we go into survival mode instead of creative, and I'm just going to go into a regular world, so not a flat one this time. In creative mode, we have uh, access to any of the blocks in our inventory. If I open our inventory in survival mode, you'll notice it looks quite different. I have no items in my inventory, and even if I search for something, uh, you'll see they're, they're sort of red, which means I don't have access to them. I don't have the base materials. So in survival mode, you need to collect everything you want to build with. You start off with nothing, and you have to collect everything. In survival mode, your first sort of thing that you want to be doing is finding wood. Now, same as in creative, left click is destroy, but you'll notice it's not instantly destroying. You actually have to look at the block and hold left click in order to destroy it. Now, some blocks like dirt and sand, I can destroy with my bare hands, which is fine. But uh, if I can find some stone, which I'm probably not going to be able to find because <laughs> I'm on a, an island, you won't be able to destroy stone with your bare hands. And if I try and destroy the wood, you'll notice it takes me quite a long time to destroy it with the bare hands. So in survival mode, it's really key that you have the right tool for the right job. So for chopping down wood, the ax is the best. For mining and uh, chopping down stone, you want the pickaxe. So you'll notice in survival, I have to uh, collect every single block. I have no access to free blocks at all. Uh, the other thing you'll notice is I have some love hearts and some what looks like chicken legs down the bottom and a green bar above my inventory. The hearts are my life. Uh, if I lose too many hearts, I can die and then I'll be restarted by being teleported back to the initial spawn point or where I first started when I came into the world. The chicken legs are my hunger, so you constantly need to be eating food to keep, your, um, to keep yourself full. If my hunger gets too low, I'll start losing love hearts and perhaps die. The green bar is my experience bar, uh, which, and I can get experiences, uh, experience points for doing things like killing monsters and things like that. Um, the other difference you'll notice in survival mode is that I can't fly, so getting around is a lot more challenging. So in 
survival mode, if you want something like a pickaxe, you have to make it. So this is where we get to the crafting part of Minecraft. In creative, you don't have to craft, you can just access anything from your inventory initially. But in survival mode, we need to craft. The first thing you should be crafting is getting your wood and putting it up here into the little crafting box. And we're going to turn it into wood planks. And if I click on the result, you'll notice that now I'm holding those wood planks. I'm actually gonna cl keep clicking to turn the last three blocks all into wooden planks. Now that I've got some wooden planks, I can make what's called a crafting table. So the pattern for the crafting table, and you'll notice here on the left, it's showing me which recipes I actually have the materials for. They are in gray. Uh, so you can just click on that recipe to have it make it instantly. I'm gonna get rid of the yes, here we go. So here's the crafting table. Now, let's say you don't know the recipe for the crafting table. You can just click on crafting table and it will automatically pre-fill the recipe. And then I just need to click on the result. So now I have a crafting table and I'm gonna press escape. I'm gonna place that crafting table on the floor. If I move over towards the crafting table and I'm going to right click to use the crafting table. Now my crafting space is a three by three grid. I can make a lot more items. So you'll notice on the left, let's say you complete beginner and know no recipes. You In the old Minecraft, you used to have to memorize or look up all the recipes. Um, now I can just click on stick and it will place the items there and all I need to do is click on the stick. So I need a few sticks to help make um, the first few items. So the first item you usually wanna make is a pickaxe, which needs wooden planks and sticks. There we go. And maybe I might make another sword for protection. Now, the, another tricky thing about survival mode is if I start using my pickaxe, which is quicker than bare hands usually, You'll notice now my pickaxe has this green bar underneath it. That's the durability of the pickaxe. And if, as, that, if, as I keep using it, it'll start running out. And when I get to the end, the pickaxe will break and I'll need to make another one. Pick, pickaxes made from materials like stone and iron are much more durable than wood. So wood is sort of like your starting equipment, which you want to try and upgrade as you find more rare materials. So they are the two main differences between creative and survival. So if you just want to build something for fun, jump into creative. If you want to have a challenge, more challenging experience where you have to go and collect everything and build a little base and fight monsters and delve into mines and try and find coal and iron and things like that, survival is your best bet. Thanks for watching. Join us for the next video where we look at server commands and non-player characters.